a passing out parade of three probationary DYSPs and 583 probationary sub-inspector took place on Friday at Sheri Kashmir Police Academy in Udhampur district of Union Territory, Jammu and Kashmir. Lieutenant Governor Manoj Sinha took the salute of passing out parade in the presence of DGP Dilbag Singh. This was the 13th batch of the probationary DYSPs and 24th batch of sub-inspectors. While addressing the police officers who completed training on the occasion, Lieutenant Governor said, Today, the definition of policing has completely changed and cybercrime has emerged as the biggest challenge today with the normal policing. Union Minister Dr. Chitendra Singh on Friday said in far-reaching reform regarding the fa family pensions, the upper ceiling has been raised from 45,000 rupees to 125,000 per month. He said the move will be bringing the ease of living for the family members of the deceased employers and would provide adequate financial security to them. The minister said the Department of Pension and Pensioners Welfare has issued clarification on the amount of admissible in case a child is eligible to withdraw two family pensions after the death of his or her parents. The Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir has joined hands with UK-based space agency for collaborative projects on the impact-based flood forecasting. The National Space Innovative Programme, undertaken by HR Wallingford in collaboration with Oxford University, Sayers and Partner, and Deorbit is an initiative that supports collaborative projects between UK-based organisation and international partners. It is a big step taken by Lieutenant Governor Administration which will help to predict fluvial flood risks in terms of expected loss of life, injuries to people, building collapse and infrastructure disruption and economic damage. Alleging that three senior politicians remained under illegal detention without order explaining their arrest, former Chief Minister Mehboob Mamufti said when the centre can pursue its utter contempt for lawmakers by throwing rule of law to wind, imagine the plight of hundreds of Kashmiris caged in the jail outside JNK. Mehbooba, who is the president of People's Party Democratic Party, said it has been two months since Sartaj Madni, Naeem Akhtar and Hilal Lod were illegally detained without any order explaining their arrest. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has given away Indian, Indian territory to China, alleged Congress leader Rahul Gandhi on Friday and said the Prime Minister and Defence Minister Rajnath Singh would have an answer for this. The Congress leader further called PM Modi a coward who cannot stand up for the Chinese. Finger for Pekka. Narendra Modi ne finger three se finger four ki zameen jo Hindustan ki pavitra zameen hai wo China ko pakka di. Authorities of Baramula district on, on Jammu and Kashmir on Friday withdrew an order asking hotels to cancel the pre-bookings at the famous ski resorts of Gulmarg to accommodate participants of Kalo India National Winter Games after the move drew sharp criticism. The order was withdrawn a day after it was issued by the additional deputy commissioner of Baramula. The order has taken hoteliers to accommodate athletes and officials and cancel pre-booking of the tourists from February 25th to March 3rd. Principal Secretary to Lieutenant Governor Nitesh Vakumar today chaired a meeting to access the program being made on the implementation of directions of the Lieutenant Governor. The meeting was a follow-up of the previous meetings being held every Friday. The crime branch of Jammu and Kashmir police have busted a gang involved in making fake contractor registration cards and arrested three of its members. A written complaint was filed in the crime branch Jammu by the contractors of District Doda alleging that the accused has managed to get fake registration cards from the office of the Chief Engineer Irrigation and Flood Control Department Kashmir to grab government money and there is a gang of criminals who are making such type of fake documents. Acting on the complaint, the crime branch Jammu has started investigating the case which leads to the busting of gang involved in making fake contractor registration cards. India's total active case load has been a sharp decline, falling to 1,35,926 on Friday, according to the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. The total positive cases on the country comprises of only 1.25% of the total cases. A day on the change of the active cases in the last few weeks shows a consistent decline. The national recovery rate continues to be one of the highest globally. 
by the Kisan Union spokesperson Rakesh Tikkat on Friday said ongoing farmer protest will go on for indefinite period as there is no planning regarding the duration yet. Tikkat had earlier warned the farmer agitation will not conclude unless the government repeals the three newly enacted agricultural laws and it may go on till October.